This home that we all call Earth is made up of many varieties of beautiful, awe-inspiring landscapes. From the seemingly endlessness of the ocean's coastlines, to the lush green forests that help produce the oxygen needed to sustain life. The hot, dry, desolate deserts. And the small streams and large rivers that cut through it all to form large canyons and lakes. But most of all, the true wonders of the world towering over it all. The mountains. New week, new state. Finally made it to the beautiful state of Utah. Been through here plenty of times, but never actually stayed here and explored the state. So I'm looking forward to spending some time here, possibly two, three weeks. I've already been here for a few days, just kind of relax and hang out. Uh, this is the first area we've been to. Right behind me, you got the famous Bonneville Salt Flats, uh, surrounded by all these gorgeous mountains the southwest style mountains that i love with all their reds and browns and grays blacks just they have so much to offer and there's just so many different varieties just around me so that's what that's what we're out here doing today hopefully the sun's going to set down over there and hopefully light some of these and that the side of that mountain to my left um, and then the one to my right so hopefully looking to get some nice photographs tonight. It was supposed to be partly sunny, but over there by where the sun's supposed to go down, looks like there's, there's quite a bit of clouds building up. So I'm hoping it opens up enough to let some nice light through, but we won't find out until later. I think it's only, what time is it? It's going on three o'clock, so we still got three hours, four hours until when we're supposed to get nice light. So while we wait on that, I'm gonna truck on and head up this hill to my right and see what we can see as far as out there. So let's head on up there and see what we can get. made it to the top of that hill but once I got up there looking at everything from where that sun's going down with all those clouds it's just pr 
pretty much going to block a lot of light on all these mountain sides that I was hoping to capture tonight. Um, and then some of these mountains, the opposite direction of where I'm parked, where I went today, is really nice mountains, but all these larger mountains are pretty much blocking any sun getting on them. They're more of a, a sunrise and morning, morning mountain photography. So, while I was up there though, off in the distance behind me, or not behind, behind you, saw some peaks of some large snow-capped mountains. And by the looks of it, after you go so far, I don't think there's any more mountains, or a whole lot of them. So where those snow cats are positioned, no matter what, they should be getting light on them. So off to the right of me is a smaller hill, or a bigger hill than what I'm on now. So I think I'm, since I have time, we're gonna go ahead and climb that and see what kind of view we can get of those and maybe see something else of these that I can't see right now. finding something come up on this hill I was talking about and yes off in the distance huge huge snow capped mountain loving that pulled it up on my map it's actually pilot peak it's the elevation on the map was saying it's around just over 10,000 feet so next spot another big hill I'm gonna go to should be the last hill obstructing any of that and it's only just under half a mile, it's 2.30, more enough time to get there. So we're gonna have a drink of water and then we're gonna hit that hill. So that should be the last stop of the day because once we get there, if anything hits, any, any light hits anything behind me, I can still get shots of that. So I'm hoping to get nice shots of that mountain, then also something this way. So drink of water, head out, and then I'll see you up there and hopefully that's the last place we gotta go. See you in a bit. Ended up climbing up two more hills than I planned on climbing up. Was, every time we got kept getting closer, these hills kept getting in the way of those mountains. And found this nice peak here, just overlooks everything. See for miles, see those big snow capped mountains I was talking about off the other direction. Right behind me, this peak here was Shell Peak. And then off to my left, I was actually the other day, I was parked beside those, is Volcano Peak. So, Pilot Peak, Volcano Peak, Rochelle Peak. So, nice views of everything. I went ahead and grabbed a couple shots of the snow caps already because when I got up here, there was some sh sun shining on the peaks and I was trying to get set up and grab one before those clouds rolled in over top of it. So, I don't know if I got the right shot, but we'll find out later. And Hopefully those clouds move out part a little bit more later. So right now we're just gonna hang out and wait for that sun some. strong so I really wish I could position the camera so you can see what I'm shooting at but 
that snow capped mountain off in the Pilot Peak in the distance there, light's peeking through those clouds really nicely, lighting those peaks up. So I went ahead and took a couple more horizontal shots and I flipped it up, took a couple panoramas of it since that light's looking really nice on it right now uh, with that, those clouds infusing it some. So as far as behind me here, where that sun's going to set with all the clouds, I don't think it's going to really cast great light on it, but it might be one of those situations like I did back in um, in Oregon. Um, get the name of it. I was shooting that big valley and hills and didn't really have much light. It was all pretty flat. But I'm going to try to get try to frame up an image of it here and see what I can get and see if I can make an image out of it. But already got some nice shots of the snow caps or pilot peak there. Um, so we're going to continue to look around, frame, frame things up and see if we can come up with another, another photograph. Get a new tripod for video that will go hop higher because where i'm at there's really nowhere else to put that tripod except it's going to be down way low so try to position the best so you can see what i'm looking at um so i threw my 24 to 70 on with the polarizer and once that sun goes so far down none of this out here is going to really get any light on it um really wish i could be up here for sunrise there's roads all through here trails and all that and right down below there's a camp spot um and if i could camp there then i could easily get up in the morning walk right up there it's only a tenth of a mile away but either way what i got framed up here is down below you got the road that goes through and about a third way through the frame you got these two rock hills protruding out of the side of the hill, little smaller hills, real rocky. Then we got the one on the to the right. I hope I'm pointing at it correctly. So you got another rocky peak sticking out, and then in the far distance, you got the volcano peak out there. So you're gonna have to expose for all the mountains in itself and in the sky. I'm gonna have to take another exposure for that, um, and then I'll brush it in in Photoshop. Just because, I mean, also it's such a white sky, and then also the salt flasks are white. So it's looking good as far as being framed up. So I'm gonna try to get some uh, images of that, and wait for that sun some more. Hopefully, those snow cap ones came out. I'm liking how those came out. That light was looking really nice on those. So, see what I can come up with here, and then wait around for a little bit longer. We got, one, see what time it is. It's only a quarter to five. Still got, still got like two and a half hours. Um, so, we'll keep playing around and see what we get. Another reason I love photographing these type of mountains is it's almost like photographing pieces of history. For example, uh, Bonneville Salt Flats used to be it's actually Bonneville Lake. 55, 60,000 years ago, that lake was actually, this whole area is just underwater. The lake was 325 miles long, 125 miles wide, and up to a thousand feet um, at its deepest. So it's, it's just mind boggling when you're out in the mountains how how little you are in the big scheme of things and the bonneville salt flats you go down there 
and just picture yourself with a thousand feet of water above you that that's the bottom of the lake right there and then you got all the layers and you can just look through back through time through those layers to see what everything was like where the lake was at and it's just it's just awesome to think about when you're out here that's there's just so much so many opportunities in photographing mountains so much different type of environments and atmospheres so definitely if i could photograph only one thing the rest of my life it would definitely be photographing mountains and mountainscapes there's nothing else like it climbing top of the mountain it's one of the most rewarding because you take all that time and effort to get top of the mountain and walk away with great images and it just adds that much more to it so again we're just gonna wait for that those clouds are kind of breaking up some individual clouds that light keeps poking through here and there so we're gonna keep at it and see what we can come up with so and i think i see a shot right out there so i'll be back right with you I thought I could make it. The audio is going to be probably a little crappier than usual on this part. I can, I thought I could make it one month. I was almost there. Ten more days, eight more days, one month, nothing happening. But as I was photographing, I had the camera, my phone set up with the mic plugged in. Wind picked up, blew that thing right over, and then snapped. Oh, sorry. Let's see here. There's my mic I was using, $90 mic, and it has a little lightning port that goes right into the phone. When it fell over, that snapped right off inside the phone. I pulled it out, luckily, but... So, I think I was running around. I didn't talk about it. Right off in the distance, that sun peek through those clouds, gorgeous light on that whole valley that I took earlier where I said there wasn't gonna be any light. It just came out, it's, it's still lit up real nice. I just been shooting a couple panoramas of it, a wide shot of it. Oh, I, I didn't expect it to light up like that. So, uh, the wind's picking up quite a bit now. That's why I'm, I'm hunkered down behind this wall here and a lot colder than I thought it was going to be. It's just ripping through me. So I think with that, we got some really nice shots. I know it's still real early, 5.16. I mean, sunset's not for another like two hours, but got real nice shot of those snow caps, a couple panoramas of those. And like I said, nice this. I mean, I'm looking at it right now. It's just... It might look kind of bright on the phone, but I'm really looking forward to seeing those on the computer. Those, really liking those. That, I didn't expect that light to come out like that. So, get online and order me a new mic. Try to get me a wireless, wireless mic, so we ain't got to worry about that wind as much. And I ain't got to be off in my face all the time. So, but... Anyway, with all that, I'm going to pack it up. We're going to head back. It's about two miles back. Um, it's all pretty much downhill, so it's not going to be that hard. So, yeah. But anyway, got the shots. That's all that matters, microphone or no microphone. So, we are going to pack her up, head down. And as usual, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.